Hola, welcome to my hiking show. I'm Kevin, and thanks for joining us. As you can see today, it's a little different from my normal hikes in Los Angeles in the canyons. Today I'm hiking just a little bit north of New York City. It's actually technically in New York City. It's not Central Park. So you'll be hearing a lot of airplanes flying overhead. Uh, I think we're under the flight path. But man, it is beautiful in here, isn't it? So green. See, in the LA canyons, you have to always look out for rattlesnakes and mountain lions and uh, looky-loos. But here, no. Here, you gotta watch out for ticks, mosquitoes, rabid chipmunks, which I just saw, and oh, muggers. Yeah, so keep your eye out for that. All right, we're gonna have a great hike today, and we're gonna survive this hike. So take your protein pills, strap in your helmet, watch your wallet, let's go take a hike. Joining my hike today is a buddy of mine. Man, this guy never stops working. I mean, you've seen him in so many movies and TV shows. The 40-year-old virgin, Anchorman. Um, you've seen him on Friends. He's recurring on that, also Parks and Rec. And uh, he played Cher's boyfriend in the movie Clueless. Maybe you saw him in Wonderlust. Oh, it goes on and on. He hosted SNL. I don't know how many times. Um, oh, lest I forget, he was voted by People Magazine, the sexiest man alive in 2021. Now, that was last year, so he may not look as good. But yeah, today we're hiking with the very personable and friendly Mr. Paul Rudd. So Paul, the last time I saw you was, I saw you in Studio 8H at SNL. Uh -huh. You were hanging out with Lauren under the bleachers uh -huh. during a show, I think with some other past hosts. Have you hosted that show before? Mm -hmm. One time? The SNL? Yeah. Uh, five. Oh, five. <laughs> Who was the best musical guest? Man, I've been really lucky. I've had good ones. Who was the best? The, well, the best was Paul McCartney. Oh, yeah. I also had Beyonce as a musical guest. Wow. I, I brought a fanny pack as a kind of a bit. Not that it's a bit, but it's, it's a bit lame. But, um, what? I love a fanny pack. Well, you're not wearing it as a fanny pack. That's more of a crotch pack. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, if, I, if we were in England, technically, it's a fanny pack. Yeah. I do have a thing with a uh, order. Really? Yeah. Do you need to have the utensils straight on the table when you're eating? <laughs> I like it. Do you? I do like it. I don't need it, but I like it. I don't need it. I'm not going to be that. I'm not, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah. But I get that guy. I get that guy, too. Here's, I'll tell you what I, what I love more than anything is my P-Touch. <laughs> What's a P-Touch? It's a label maker. I label. I thought it was something else. <laughs> it could be. You label uh, everything. I label yes. Oh my! I, I labeled, never knew. I labeled. This. I labeled my P touch. Uh, yeah. I never knew. I that have much. a. You are organized. I just like stuff. Look, I'm not. I'm not crazy about it, and uh, I'm trying to get better at the labeling thing. And that's because I have had stuff. It's like I'm just gonna throw that in a drawer. Yeah. But. Um, but. Uh, I just got some mason jars recently, labeled nice. them. Uh, I have a mason jar and it says raw almonds, and I have a mason jar next to it that says uh, tamari almonds. Oh my God. Is that sick? That is sick. And what if somebody um, put almonds in the tamari almond jar and they weren't tamari? Oh, I, I would, I don't want to I don't want to know what would happen. <laughs> Can I offer you a tamari almond? You know, there's another thing that happens too. When I was working at that clothing store, yeah. I would go in and I would always kind of space the racks, the, yeah. the hangers, so that the clothes were kind of, it looked Spread nice. Out of it? Yeah. yeah. You good at giving gifts? Yeah, I am some, I, yeah, kind of, sometimes. sometimes. You don't wait till the last minute? Uh, I have. Yeah. I mean, I have, I'm, uh, but, but, um, I don't know, man. I, sometimes I'll, I'll really think of it months out and start the planning of it. Oh, that's nice, man. Women love that. <sighs> yeah, but I'd say um, more often than not, I don't do it that way. When you give somebody a gift, do you take your pee touch and label it your gift? That's not a bad idea. Uh, certainly, if uh, you are going to somebody's party and you know there's going to be a few people giving presents and then you have your card, 
you need to tape your card to your present, but uh, so that it doesn't get, you know, broken off, yeah. and they don't realize that 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 you bought them the nice thing. Yeah, when but I can, if you pee touch it, you don't need to even worry about that. I've never heard of a pee touch. Oh man, Kevin, I got just you'll give me your address. I'll how I'll how many yards of tape do you have for that? Uh, well, I have several cartridges, and they. Uh, you know, you buy them in a cartridge, you can get different colors, you can yeah. get different... It, do you remember? I used to love, as a little kid, the, the um, you know, the, yeah, the little clicker and it would yeah. emboss the, the oh, yeah. letter in the... Yeah, I loved those. I know what you love. What? I would bet a million dollars on this. The Beatles. <laughs> the Beatles. You're right. No. <laughs> you love the container store. Oh! Am I, I right? Do. Yes. Am I right? Yeah. The first time I went into a container store, I lost my mind. Me too. I I mean, oh God, I loved it. I still go there. Even though I don't have anything to contain anymore, uh, I will take a container box and I'll look to see if that'll fit in my container box. Mm -hmm. I need it to contain my container boxes. Yep. yep. I have uh, plastic bins that you see through. Yeah. So that you can see what's in it, even though I also have those plastic bins labeled with <laughs> P-Touch <-touch> markers. <laughs> like um, yeah. So when you when you uh, label these, yeah. do you actually um, put them away somewhere or do you... <laughs> yeah, no, I have... Uh, I uh, I love you. You follow me anywhere. Yeah. I'm walking right into right the here. Yeah, this is what this we're... Is where, there's no trail. Yeah. There's no trail. This is, we'll find you are our such way. a good sport, man. No, we're going to find our That's way. That's what people say about you. They say, Paul Rudd is so likable. He is so genuine. And I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I don't know who you're talking to. Well, these, that's the thing about you. Um, you've done a lot of films. Women love you. And yet the guys aren't, like, uh, threatened because you're such a nice guy. Is that what you kind of do on purpose? Not exhibit any kind of threatening right. or edge, but very like or, gracious uh, and likable. I think you say very race, racist. I think you say, no, very racist, <laughs> very racist, and not liking anybody. No, I. Uh, do I? Is that why I try? No, I just it's, you talk to people like they're uh, like we talk to people, right? Did I ever tell you about the time I hosted SNL and Paul McCartney was the musical guest? No. Amazing. You loved that, huh? It was, it was amazing. Because you're a Beatle fan. How'd you know? I read it on, not on Wikipedia, but your rap sheet. Did you ever uh, watch Get Back, the uh, Peter Jackson documentary? You too? No, no, it's about the Beatles. Oh. <laughs> you want to make camp here? Or you want to go further? What was your first job? Do you remember? Uh, yeah. I do. I sacked groceries at Doll's Supermarket. Oh, nice. And how long did you do that? Too long. Were you good? When, when you go to a grocery store now, yeah. do you bag your own groceries? So, yeah, I think you kind of have to now. You do, but... Yeah, it's part of the deal. Or do you ever watch the guy doing it? Think, yeah. Wow, this guy's good. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's a weird thing. There's, you know, I'm very aware of how people pack bags when they're packing groceries. Yeah. You know, you got to put your things don't... It isn't like you just throw everything in the bag. And always eggs and bread on top. Always. Always. If you do this, Kevin, you try and find a, a moment when it's happening and really have it register as, oh, this is one of the great moments. I have to, I have to be aware in the moment. Wait a minute, you say is, you actually have to register it? I, I, like I, with I, the city? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you've got, if you've got, if you've got a pen, you yeah. got some paper, and if there's a notary republic, close by. It helps to register the moment with nice. the city. Uh, okay. Depending okay. on. And I know with like Europe and everything is different. There's different laws, but when you arrive, you check in with the consulate, find out what the protocols are. And uh, this, um, I, I want to get back to the story because it's really exciting. But this is a, a but the trail. thing. The thing about, <laughs> see, the thing about local politics and ordinances. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Do you wear cologne? No. Never worn? Well, not when I hike. I'm scared of bears. Does that, does that attract bears? I don't know. Uh, no, I don't wear cologne. I never wear cologne. But it is nice. Oh, I tell you one thing, just generally, I like it when people smell nice. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking this morning, should I take a shower or should I just wash under my arms? Put some, you know, deodorant on? Yeah. And then I thought, it's Paul Rudd. 
just wash out of my arms. Yeah. How about perfume? You wear perfume? Not, not, uh, not if I can help it. Yeah, what are you most business. proud of? I mean, I can, I can say, you know, obviously I can say like stuff with like my, my children, and there are things that are probably like the best thing, and probably involve my family or my you know, kids. Forget about like, that. Yeah, forget yeah, about exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, it was just a couple of weeks ago, and I was in Ireland. Oh man, we got to talk about Ireland. Oh, it's not now. Though. Not now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, I don't yeah. want to talk about it now, actually. So, you're in This Ireland? reminds me of Ireland. It does, it's so green, isn't it? <sighs> Let's get drunk. Do you ever do the thing too, where they like, wow! That kind of stuff. Were you a gymnast? No, but I always remember like, you know, you walk around to like a... Uh, I see that again. Hold on, let me adjust my hack. That's cool, right? To like a... Wow, look at that. Let's talk about that elephant in the room. You were voted the sexiest man alive by People Magazine. How did you ever get that? I mean, what makes you eligible for that? Well, I didn't realize that, that I was. El I didn't. I didn't realize that I was eligible. They surprised you with it? Yeah. Your oh, publicist didn't tell you. By the way, out? I've never actually been more surprised by anything in my life. Look, you're standing next to me. Yeah. Wouldn't you say, I don't get it either? That's what I've been saying the whole time. Yeah. I didn't say it out loud. Yeah. You got a lot of teasing from your friends. I remember I told my kids, I was a nervous actually about how they were gonna react. Right. Um, anyway, so I told them and they just went, ugh. <laughs> Do you know how many people um, Photoshop their face onto that magazine? <laughs> I did it. You did? Yeah, for like a poster for like a gig or something, but I forgot to take your name off. <laughs> it said Paul Rubb in my face. I, um, I got, <clears throat> somebody sent me when that was announced and it's the funniest thing and truly like the, the greatest thing because it was from Steve Martin when he said I idolize him. But, uh, do you really? Yeah, I do. But um, it's just, I guess he had sent on a, when that was announced, he just sent, on, he tweeted, all he said was, uh, trust me, it's a burden. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. He's you, the funniest. You know, I saw him at Universal Amphitheater. I this is back in the 1900s with the Blues Brothers opening for him. No way. Yeah, he had the white suit on, doing the arrow through the All head. All the wild and crazy guy stuff. Yeah. Oh yep. my God. Yeah. That's uh, that is, you know. You ever look back and say, "Wow, I can't believe I was at this thing at that time." And yeah. Do you have what's what's your biggest one of those? Like, was there a concert that you went to that you just you can't believe that you were there. Going to the SNL 40th reunion was pretty amazing. You oh were there, my right? God, I was there, yeah, yeah. I mean, everywhere yeah. you look, you turn, there's Paul McCartney, there's Paul Simon, there's David yeah. Bowie, yeah. there's Eddie Murphy. It's yeah. like, it's like being in the Hollywood Wax Museum. It, it was uh, unfathomable. Yeah, incredible. Everybody feels like they know you, don't they? Because you're like on everything, uh, everywhere. Well, we know each other. Almost. I've always said this about us. We should be, um, we should be better friends. The problem is you live in California, I live in New York. I live in New York. I know where you live, I live a mile away from you. Wait, did I say I live in New York? <laughs> Really noticing things speeding up in the last couple of years. Yeah. I have glasses. I've always had glasses. Yeah. My vision's not very good. But I have contact lenses. And now I have glasses for my contact lenses. <laughs> You're doubling up. I doubled up. I have, if I have to read and I have my contact lenses in, I have to have glasses. That's, that's <laughs> a pain. Man. That's, you know how bad. Okay. And, and I also have the light to read the menu on my phone and glasses with contact Oh my God. Can't you get a contact lens that's really thick that sticks out of your eye a little bit instead of wearing the glasses with it? <laughs> just, yeah, it is, but it's a, it just, it makes blinking so uncomfortable. Yeah. Hey, when you worked on Anchorman, yeah. that's where I know you're from, right? Uh, that would be the one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you enjoy working with Will Ferrell and all the Steve Carell? I mean, it sounds like, I get this a lot. It sounds like you would have a lot of fun, you know? Right. But 
but I mean, be, those guys being so much funnier than you, how did you feel? Intimidated. Like, intimidated. Right, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> these guys are incredible, and yeah. I was, uh, yeah, throughout the entire filming of it, just uh, blown away. Blown away by how quick their minds are, how funny they are. You know, it was the first time I'd ever worked on a, a big old Hollywood movie where there was that kind of, that way of working. And so, you know, there was so much improvisation and bits and all kinds of stuff, and it was so fun. Uh, oh, man, that was and it great. was, uh, yeah, it kind of, it kind of was a, ma like a, just a major experience for me in many ways, but one, also it kind of shifted a little bit of the way that I worked on movies after that, yeah. where we would now leave room to just kind of, you know. Hi. 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 people in New York. Can't she, she couldn't see that we're in the middle of filming. So I was talking about what I was talking about my work, and she interviewed me. Anyway, go back to the thing. You, what a, but let's go back to where you're talking about me being nice. So yeah, the, let's talk about that. Yeah. No, I think probably I'm not sure who's the nicer person from what I'm hearing. Mm. I think it's either you or me. But you're the sexiest. I think there was a miscount in the votes. Really? You'd get my vote, Kevin. Do you use Q-tips? I do. How often? I, probably not often enough. And do you wet them or do you use them dry? I use them dry. Oh, I, I wet them. So, um, you know, we should, you know, we could we could do a, a little kind of uh, addendum to this. Yeah? And instead of um, hike, hiking with Kevin, you can call it Tick Checks with Kevin. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> we can, we can, Look at each other's waistbands. <laughs> okay. Speaking of feet touches, <laughs> I think we're at a dead end here. Uh, there's. All right, let's go back, man, before it gets dark. Here we go. Behind me still. I'm, I'm right behind. Don't lag. Do you uh, work out? A little sad that you have to ask. <laughs> What do people recognize you from? I mean, you have such a, a, a wide array of... You Should know. we ask this person? <laughs> Excuse me, miss. What do you recognize me from? I don't know you guys. You don't know. I don't know who you guys are. You what know this guy? What would you say? What would you what say? What are you guys doing up here? He's what would man. you say the most... This is... Uh, I just got asked this question. What do I get recognized from the most? You were walking here, so I'm just going to ask you. What, do you, what would I'm you gonna say? I'm going to go with my first instinct, which is coolness. Yes! And what about me? For, thank you. I'm gonna take it back to SNL. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that, thank you. I don't sign a release, by the way. Oh. <laughs> so you go, you study acting and everything, and then you get a job as Ant-Man. Yeah. And the Marvel movies, which my son loves. I, I told him you were, I was hiking with Ant-Man. He goes, no way. I said, yeah. Oh. So, uh, well then this is for him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Paul Rudd. Man, that was a good hike. Yeah, I could believe he was the sexiest man alive in 2021. But, you know, like I said, now, the years go by, you know, and things change, you know? But he still looks good. He still looks good. And so do you. Thanks for joining my hike. Uh, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll catch you next time. Happy trails.